And welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. This is our introduction to the Ready Set Snow Shaker Add-on Die Set. This is in coordination with our stamp set Ready Set Snow, so let's go ahead and check it out. So here you can see the different pieces the set cuts. This is the base of your shaker. Then this is the top of the shaker. And then you're going to use that base image to cut your clear acetate for your window. And then this little part is just a cute little snow bank that you can layer uh, to the bottom of your shaker scenes. And then this piece here is a nice little snowy scene that you can layer, but it also creates confetti, which is perfect for adding to your shaker cards. So here you can see how all of those pieces layer together. And then this little uh, confetti creator can also cut out from the stamp set. So I'll show you how that works later. So now I've lined my die up with my stamped image from Ready, Set, Snow and run it through my die cut machine and you can see the cool die cut snow globe that you get. Then I went ahead and used some turquoise cardstock here, cut my little snowy scene and I'm popping all of those little pieces into this little bowl to save them later to add to my shaker. Then you can see what a cute snow that creates by layering white behind the blue. Now I've got some super thick foam here. This is the five millimeter foam. I bought it at my local Michaels. I love this stuff and I die cut that with that same snow globe frame. I added some glue there to that little snowy background and then some tape to my snow bank and I'm layering this all flat on my bottom seam piece of my shaker. And then I can add my cute little deer from Toboggan Together on top too. Now here I'm using some craft foam glue I bought that I wanted to try and it clearly did not work well. The whole thing exploded. Uh, I ended up just smearing it around with my fingers and I decided that liquid glue wasn't my favorite way to do this but you'll see the way I like doing it in the next shaker. So now I've layered that piece on and then I can fill the inside of my shaker with sequins and these are tiny little micro beads. These are really fun to add um, and also uh, I like to add a little like glass glitter, things like that. And then here are all of those little popped out pieces from that confetti maker die. And there's that glass glitter. I think that adds a nice little shine to the shaker. Now that I've got all my pieces in there, I'm ready to take that base piece again and cut a piece of acetate. You can use transparency, you can use packaging that you save from something that you bought, uh, anything like that would work. And then I use some strong tape all around the edges of that snow globe piece and I'm going to layer them on together. Now, I didn't do a good job of layering them, so I'm just trimming any of that acetate that kind of extends past the snow globe and that's not a problem. Now here I'm using some score tape. Some people call it be creative tape. I love this tape. It's super strong and it works great for shakers. So I put that on the back of that frame, layered it on top, and now you can see how cute all those little shaker bits are. Now I'm taking one of the labels and I will glue that right onto the front of this cute shaker. Now you could put these on cards and do all sorts of things, but I thought it would be really fun to create an ornament. So what I'm going to do is just turn the whole shaker piece over and here I have some silver sparkle lawn trimmings, which I thought went along with all that sparkly stuff we have in the shaker. And I'm just putting some of that, more of that score tape, that strong tape, right along the bottom to hold this little string. And then I'm adding more tape here and then you kind of have to lift it up in the air to make sure it's hanging straight and then you can push those string pieces along to that tape and that'll hold them in place perfect for it to be an ornament. Now it looks kind of ugly in the back there so I just cut one more white piece with that base piece and just layered that on top so that it looks nice and clean on the back. And then here is a look at this cute little shaker ornament and I love seeing all of those fun little pieces inside. Now this time I've cut my base again and I'm going to create my sky with some Copic markers. So I am just, you can see, doing this super messy and if you just keep layering all these messy colors on top it ends up looking super cool. So you can see how it looks really neat there. And then now I can work to add the snow bank on there. And I wasn't sure exactly where I wanted it. So I keep layering that piece on top, making sure I have a good looking sky and kind of seeing how high I want that snow bank to be. So I'm going to move it around until it's absolutely perfect. And once it's perfect, I'm going to hold it in place, 
move that frame out of the way and then take a pencil and just mark the bottom of it right there and then I'm going to know where to glue that piece down. So I can just line it up right with my little line there and have a perfect snowbank. Now I'm going to layer my little deer from toboggan together on there. And then now I wanted to show you, I didn't want just the frame to just be white all the way around. I wanted it to match the inside of my shaker. So I'm using the same exact Copic markers and just kind of, you'll see I'm lining it up and then coloring there with the darkest one. And then I'll go to the uh, medium one and then the light one all the way around. And now the inside part of that frame matches the inside part of the shaker, if that makes sense. And then now I'm just taking those same markers and lining the inside part of the die so that there's a complete continuation from the shaker base to the shaker frame. Now I can take the shaker base piece and cut a piece of acetate again, add a bunch of super sticky score tape, any kind of red line tape, anything would work, and layer that acetate piece on. Now this time I wanted to show you a different method and I found these foam sheets at my local Michaels that had a removable sticky back to them. But the pieces are super thin. So I am going to layer two pieces of them. So now I'm just going to peel off that back and you're going to see that this one I decided wasn't my favorite because I kind of had a hard time getting it on to the shaker properly. It wasn't, it was so thin that it wouldn't hold its shape. So then I layered the second piece on top. And then now what I'm going to do is just trim off that whole mistake of foam tape there. And no one's ever going to know that I did this because we're going to cover it up with the frame. Now this is one of those anti-static tools for heat embossing, but it's actually really great for taking the stick off of things. So I'm running it along the inside of my little foam there to take any stickiness off so that the little shaker pieces that I add in won't stick to the outside frame. So now I can add sequins and little glitter and all sorts of things into my shaker and then use more of that score tape there all the way around the edge of the frame to create a shaker again. But now the inside part of my snow globe frame matches the base part, which I think looks really, really cool. And so there's that fun shaker. And here's a look at the difference between a white frame and a colored end frame. I think they both look cool. They're just two different looks. Okay, so now we are on to style number three. So I cut two here from some Let's Bouquet paper, both the base and the frame. And now I'm gonna cut the bottom part of the, of the frame here with one of my walnut note cards. I love these cool wood grain note cards. So I'm just gonna use that. I'm gonna trim off those little ends there so that now I can create the base of my snow globe without having to use the stamp. So it's a totally different look with this die set. So this is the die set without the stamp. So now I'm layering my snowbank and my cute little penguin from Toboggan together. And then now I've gone ahead and used the frame die to cut some of that super thick foam again. And this time, instead of using glue, I'm going to use this score tape. And this is my favorite method. You could also use red line tape. I just put tape all over that frame and then I can stick that right on top of my base image. Now I'm going to use that anti-static tool again just to take the stick off. You could also use cornstarch or something like that just to get that sticky off the inside part. And then you can add your acetate piece, some more sticky score tape, and then layer that frame on top to create the actual shaker. And then I thought it would be fun to add the little label from Ready, Set, Snow on there. Now I want this shaker to be the actual card itself. So right here I'm just scoring a piece of cardstock and then I'm going to take my base die and line it up with the top end of that scored and folded cardstock, but leaving a little bit open. See right there, it's going to be open on the top. Run it through my die cut machine, and by leaving that open, it actually creates a snow globe shaped card that opens just like that. So now I'm going to use some liquid glue to glue this on because it's going to be a little bit hard to make sure I line it up right. So by using liquid glue, you can see here I can move it around until it's lined up perfectly. And then I have a shaker that is the card, which I think is so, so cool. And I wanted to do that with my other little deer shaker that I created earlier. So I could have layered it on top of a card, kind of like we did in the Ready, Set, Snow video, but I really wanted it to be its own card. So I layered that same die cut piece just like before and created a card that is the shaker. So I just love it. I think it's so fun. And there's a look at all of those fun little shaker pieces inside. 
And then here's a comparison between these three. We have the fun ornament and then the two shaker shaped cards, which I think are really cool. Or you could layer the shaker on top of a card base too. So you have a lot of fun options with this die set. Now these are three different styles of creating the actual shape shaker, but I wanted to show you how you can make a shaker that's inlaid into your card. So here I have a three and a half by three and a half inch stitch square that I've already die cut. And then I'm going to use my Misty tool here to stamp my little snow globe right on top of that die cut piece. Now that that snow globe is stamped there, I'm gonna use that fun little snow background confetti maker and you'll see it's gonna line up almost perfectly there with the inside. There's only gonna be a tiny little edge when you pull it off, which I think is so cool. So now we have an opening in our actual card. Now here I wanted a silver base instead of brown like I had done the others, but I colored it in the same exact way as the brown one in the Ready, Set, Snow video. And then now I'm going to cut along this base right along the stamped image. And then I'm gonna use a marker to go all the way around my cut image and that just makes a hand cut image look really nice and finished. And then I can use some glue and just lay that right on top. Now I'm gonna create a background the same way that I did for my little deer shaker, just using these three markers and blending them all over a three and a half inch by three and a half inch square. Then I can layer my snowbank on top and then my cute little snowman on top of the snowbank. Now I'm going to use that three and a half by three and a half inch square again to cut that super thick foam. Except this time I'm going to trim off the edges because I want to make sure that it doesn't show through on the card. When they're the exact same size, you'll kind of see the foam sticking out a little bit. So I just trim that off. And then now I'm using my cut piece to help me line up where that little confetti piece should go. And then I will run that through my die cut machine. And now I have an opening in the foam the exact same as the top of my card. Now once again, to make sure the foam doesn't show through, I'm just trimming it off. And it can be ugly because no one's ever going to see it. <laughs> and then now I'm going to layer my acetate piece window on my piece and then lay that piece on top of my foam. Now that I've got my foam all set, I can add more of that score tape all the way around this little shaker window, fill it with sequins and confetti, this fun Martha Stewart star-shaped glitter, um, then the little confetti pieces that come out of the die, and some micro beads. And then I can take that piece that I colored with my snowman on it, layer it right there, and now we have a shaker that's inlaid to the actual card, which I think is such a cool look. I didn't quite layer that white square on there perfectly, so I'm just trimming the edges that were showing over just a little bit. No one's ever gonna see that part anyway, so just trim it right off. Add some strong tape to the back of my whole shaker piece. Then now I'm gonna score a card base at four inches. It's gonna be a four inch by four inch card base. So I can score that and fold it, and then layer it onto a four inch stitch square cut from some red cardstock. Then I can layer another little Merry Christmas label on there and tie a bow just like I did with the card from the Ready, Set, Snow video. And then peel all those backings off and I can layer that shaker right on top of my card base and get an inlaid shaker card, which looks so cool. I just love it. And then now here's a comparison to the card that we made in the Ready, Set, Snow video. So you can see how different of looks you can get from one stamp set and then it's coordinating shaker add-on. And so here you can see all of those fun little pieces and those cute snowmen in that card. Now here's a look at the five cards we've created with Ready, Set, Snow and the shaker add-on dies. We have two cute little snow globe shaped cards. You can have a plain frame or a frame that you color in, or you can do your frame out of pattern paper. You can also use the background there, that one confetti creator die to create a snowy background. And you can make these shakers into cute ornaments. Now here is a card without using the shaker, and then here is the inlaid shaker. You could also take one of those other shakers and layer it on top of a card too. So this is the Ready, Set, Snow shaker die, and it coordinates with the Ready, Set, Snow stamp set. I know we went over a lot of things today, but this set is so much fun because there's so much that you can do with it. Here is just a card created with just the Ready, Set, Snow set, and then here is one with an inlaid shaker, 
And then here are ones that have created the shaker as its own thing, either as an ornament or as a, a snow globe shaped card, which is so cool. Or you could even layer one of those snow globe shakers on top of a card base too. So there are so many options with the set. I am so excited to see what you guys do with this because I know it's going to be absolutely amazing and I know you can get really creative. It doesn't have to even be snow. You could do fall shakers or summer shakers and you could have so much fun. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!